morning. It's actually super not the morning, but I just got up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I will be back and the next shot you see, I'm gonna look a lot better. Also, I received this quilt in the mail from one of my friends that I met on retreat and it came from this. Victoria's Quilts Canada, comforting people with cancer. So basically, show you here. It was made by these two ladies who just make quilts for people with cancer. It was no charge to the woman who sent me it and it was no charge to me. One of my favorite gifts I've literally ever received and it's beautiful and it's sitting on my bed and kind of a constant reminder that like there's just people out there who care and who are with me and I really love that. It's a really good reminder. I'm back, shower was delightful. I feel so much cleaner. <laughs> I was at a live music event last night and I just didn't feel like showering last night so I just felt gross in the morning. Anyway, so you can tell by the title of this video that it's an update. Ah, I'm actually really pleased to say that it's like a really good update. So over the last pretty much two years, I feel like I've had a lot of bad news to share with a lot of people. It's really awful giving bad news. Like I don't want to make anybody else feel bad. So the news, I haven't really been posting much. I haven't had many vlogs. I've basically been sitting in this like rage of scanxiety. I'm gonna do a whole video on what scanxiety is actually like because it's horrifically awful. You get your scan done and there's a lot that goes through your head, lots of stories that you make up that are crazy and ultimately you don't really know what the results are going to be until you're told. For me, the scan determines a lot. After the treatment I'm on right now stops working, I'm out of options and I have to look elsewhere for clinical trials. So there's a lot on the line to whether my drugs are still working or not. So I got a call last Wednesday from my doctor and he kind of calls me up and I was like still sleeping. It was 9 a.m. and he goes, oh, well, hi. And then he's like, oh, are you like awake kind of thing? I was like, not really, but like I'm I'm up now. So anyways, he calls me and just like super nonchalantly like, your scan looked good. And I was just like, for the amount of anxiety I just dealt with this week, like that's the most nonchalant response I could have gotten. <laughs> he said the scan looked good. There is still disease regression happening. A lot of spots are still stable and you know, my bone spots along my spine are healing. And he said every spot with cancer and the lymph nodes have disappeared so it's really awesome to know my drugs are still doing its job and as soon as I got off the phone I just cried I just like burst into tears it was just this overwhelming feeling of like absolute gratitude that I have a stable scan and I can look forward to just really life enhancing experiences in the next three months and it gets to this point of fear. I had a really awesome November, December, January, February portion of time. I went traveling a lot and I just did really enriching experiences and I had so much fun and when you wait for results like that you wonder does it end now? You know, do I go back to figuring out what now? Yeah, with a staple scan, we get to just do the same thing. Like, I just get to live. It's such a privilege, and we take it for granted every day. We're not guaranteed to be here tomorrow, and I don't think you really truly understand it until you go through something traumatic or you go through like a life altering experience. I just, I'm really, really thankful for the results and I'm so excited and happy that I can share that with you. Yeah, that was why I haven't really been posting or even as active or I haven't really even been bringing my camera anywhere to film. Anyways, this video is also kind of just incorporating how I choose to live my life as happily as possible. That doesn't mean that every single day is happy and there's days where I stay in bed, but I've learned to just not be so hard on myself. Sometimes I need those days and that's okay. Oh, like one of my favorite things I did for myself like this last week was I got my nails done. I don't know how long this is gonna look on the camera, <laughs> but they make me so happy. They're beautiful. They just like make me feel so happy. And my favorite part is just like the, on my phone. And I do it on purpose just because it's fun and it sounds fun. So I love that. <laughs> One of the first things that I 
love is just living a life of gratitude and gratitude is such an easy and simple thing to just notice. Just noticing gratitude can really change your day. So like there's a poster there, I don't even think you can read it, but basically it says, what am I grateful for? And every morning I've been writing just a couple things that just pop into my mind and they can be as simple as having a cell phone <laughs> or just having clean water to drink. Just very simple things and like the day I got my scan results, all I wrote on there was stable scan. For me, I love things being super visual. People write them in notebooks or whatever. It's a really constant reminder of living a life with purpose and noticing that you have more than you don't a lot of the times. The next thing that's really helped me live my life is owning my scars. I've gone through many cycles of feeling ashamed or embarrassed. I think embarrassed is a good word that I dealt with for a long time. The scar on my face was really hard to learn to live with. Losing my hair was a big one too that I just don't really care about. This is the first time you guys are seeing this haircut but I've been wearing it natural for a couple of days and I feel like a badass and just owning it makes me feel good and knowing that I don't have anything to be ashamed of and if anybody else feels that I should, I don't care. <laughs> There's so much beauty behind your struggles and your scars. We as people shine brighter when we're in tune with that and when we're vulnerable with that fact and it's a really beautiful thing just to bring vulnerability into the world. Yeah. It's really, I think it's a really powerful thing. The last thing that I'm gonna touch on is this quote that I got from a retreat that I went on last December. And it stuck with me and it humbled me. The quote was, you are the sky, everything else is just the weather. It's just like very simple, but the way that I really look at it is, for instance, when we were at this retreat, we're, we had a wonderful time. And it was just, it was like this feeling that like we didn't want it to end, but it was going to end. So looking at the happiness and the really awesome times as sunshine. The sunshine is the weather and it will change eventually. A storm will come of dark times, sadness, anxiety, stress, depression. They all enter our lives at times and they're necessary for life. But knowing that when those times come, they too will pass and the sun will be back out shining. And for me, that was just so comforting to know. Life is full of the up and down cycles and, and you have to ride them. Happiness is not a destination, it's a choice. I choose to live my life in a happy regard because what is the alternative? <laughs> You know, do I stay depressed about my cancer? Do I sit in a dark place with it? It's easy to fall in there. And when you fall in there, it's hard to climb back out. But I don't want to waste my time here being unhappy and being sad all the time because it's not beneficial for me. It's not beneficial for anybody around me. Those are kind of some tips and tricks that I learned to just how I keep myself upbeat and how I keep myself more positive. I'm really happy to be just sharing this update with you guys. I also just want to sincerely thank you for leaving kind messages and comments. It uplifts me in my day and I read them all so thank you so much for being so kind. I know that putting myself out there like this on YouTube, I'm subjecting myself to any kind of feedback from anybody. So I'm aware of that and to see so many positive uplifting comments is so amazing and it goes to show just that there are really awesome people in the world and that's my update that's this video i hope you enjoy it um, i highly recommend this gratitude board it's been so helpful for me and i i really look forward actually to waking up and writing on it thanks for watching um like and subscribe if you want to see more from me if not i just hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys really soon.